According to the head of technology of Tesla, 46 AD battery production at Tesla is progressing and is not yet important for 2022. Wow. Welcome back, friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Tesla has now almost traditionally answered the questions that private and professional investors previously submitted via a web platform in the telephone conference after the publication of its quarterly figures. One of the things that interested the most in the second quarter of this year was how the production of batteries in the 4680 format for carrying batteries is progressing, which began in the summer of 2020 at a pilot plant in Cato Road facility in Fremont. On Wednesday evening, Tesla CEO Elon Musk and his technology SVP provided information. There are significant advances and the increasing demand for the rest of 2022 is also covered without any batteries of your own. The first goal for in-house production of Tesla's 4680 batteries that Tesla announced at its battery day in September 2020 was 10 gigawatt hours of annual capacity at the Fremont pilot plant by the end of 2021. That is called Cato Road Facility, which is just a few blocks from the Fremont factory in California. By the end of 2022, it should be 100 gigawatt hours at several locations, including the new gigafactories in Germany and Texas, as later became clear. Apparently, Tesla fell far short of the first goal, and even that by the end of this year is unlikely to be achieved. The battery building on the Gigafactory Berlin site is not even finished yet. However, this morning I reported that Tesla tested a Model Y that carries 4680 battery from Gigafactory Berlin. The battery is obviously brought from somewhere else and now they built a Model Y with the new structural battery. In Germany, Elon Musk had already announced before the official opening of the local uh, Giga Berlin factory this March that contrary to what was initially planned, the Model Y will not be produced there with a carrying battery from its own 4680 batteries. The new Gigafactory in Texas, on the other hand, started a good two weeks later with Model Y with a 4680 battery. However, initially only a few copies were handed over to external customers, which spoke for insufficient battery availability. Deliveries from Texas only picked up in June, but meanwhile Tesla has temporarily switched to the conventional construction there as well as in Grünheide, um, uh, the fo uh, as uh, actually in Grünheide. Now, in this respect, it is not. Uh, it is no wonder that shareholders submitted many 4680 questions on the occasion of the quarter two conference on Wednesday. People want to know what are these batteries going to do, how much they're going to increase the range, and so on. First, Elon Musk should explain what exactly he meant when he recently wrote on Twitter that the structural battery pack from his own batteries has not yet been optimized. What does that mean? Not yet optimized. After two years, it was announced. The architecture with the battery as part of the supporting vehicle frame is fundamentally superior, explained the Tesla boss. In their current form, they do that better than electric cars with batteries as pure additional weight. However, there is still a lot to be worked out, not only on the battery pack itself, but also on its integration with the rest of the frame. Elon Musk and his technical director Baglino made similar comments about the batteries themselves and the production. In the second quarter, Tesla has an important process for the dry coating of electric electrodes fully automated, Baglino reported. This has enabled significantly more production and yield in Fremont since March, a 35% increase in volume every month. The pilot plant there should now reach 1,000 per week, well before the end of 2022. He did not name a unit for this, but he should have meant enough for 4680 batteries for 1000 Model Y, that means 3-4 gigawatt hours per year, depending on the battery size. According to Baglino, the battery systems in the Gigafactory in Texas have now been completely installed and are being put into operation. 
4680 production there is expected to begin this quarter and capacity will be higher than three months before the end of the year. When I say three months, I mean the one at Cato Road facility. But they say 4680 production is not important yet. Like the package, the individual 4680 batteries for it are only the first version, Vaglino said, when asked about possible hidden potential in the Model Y with 4680 battery from Texas. The focus has been on simplicity and scaling, which is why Tesla has not yet exhausted all the possibilities of the format, he explained. A dozen similar issues would hamper the, re the ramp up at that CEO Elon Musk. One is confident of being able to solve them, even if that is difficult with a revolutionary concept like this one. First, Tesla wants to get the base under control and achieve high volume and reliability and later rapidly develop its own battery cells to increase energy density and reduce costs. So again, first Tesla wants to get the base under control and achieve high volume and reliability. That means to scale the production of vehicles and worry less uh, about the batteries. Tesla has also planned a lot more for batteries, but perhaps to reassure shareholders, Musk emphasized in his introduction to the conference on Wednesday that the company has enough supplied batteries for the entire vehicle production for the rest of this year, and Tesla is supposed to buy new ones in the remaining months achieve record. 4680 will be important next year, but not yet in 2022, Tesla boss said. Well, the question that interests me the most, friends, is that how much range we will have after these 4680 batteries are fully optimized? How much the range and faster charging will this allow for Tesla vehicles? Any ideas on that? Because when they were uh, presented to the public in uh, September 2022, during the Tesla battery day, it was like 16% more energy, more energy density, that's going to give more range and so on, but we're not hearing that anymore. So what happened? Hi everyone, we have a very unique video thanks to our friend Vuva from Shanghai where you can see the Shanghai Nangang terminal and Tesla night loading into a ship. So what you're seeing, uh, Vuva explains, is at night. This is Shanghai South Port Terminal, the promenade that connects the sea terminal to the mainland port. A delivery truck is going and the truck is carrying Tesla vehicles. Apparently, such a transport method, Vuva says, is different from the previous ones we have seen before. It is possible that at night, when the workers of the dock operation have rested, the Tesla is unloaded directly to the dock at sea so that it is close to the rotor ship and the workers can drive the Tesla directly into the rotor ship when they go to work tomorrow morning. Now, for some of you, if you don't know what Roro ship is, I didn't either. Roro is an acronym for roll on, roll off. Roll on, roll off ships are vessels that are used to carry wheeled cargo. In this case, it's Tesla. So from this video, uh, from the pictures you're seeing, we noticed that the ship uh, docked at the dock is a ship named Changqiang Gong. I hope I pronounced it right and there is n we have no idea where the destination is where this ship is going friends so very interesting way at night tesla uh, loading the two ships at night what do you think friends let me know your thoughts let's move on to our next story